There is a rush that I get when I know that I've just completely blown somebody's mind apart and that they're incapable of connecting the dots to the reality that I just created for them a few seconds earlier. It is the most fun thing in the world to me. As a magician, you develop a skepticism about the world around you and you realize that most of what's going on behind the scenes is fake or false. It's all an attempt to try and get you to believe something's happening when it's really not. And because of that, the idea of an all-powerful god seems silly. It's like the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain, pulling these mechanical levers, controlling everything. When I was in college, I began to ask myself the big god question. And I finally made up my mind that I was going to answer the god question for myself. And so, I remember asking God, I said, God, if you are real, then I need you to bring me back behind the curtain. I need you to show me how it works. I need you to make this so real to me that I cannot ignore it. I will never forget the day this man walks into my room and he said, Mr. Monroe, I don't know how to tell you this, but you have, you have cancer. If you don't do anything, you're gonna die in two months. The first thought out of my head was, God, where are you? I guess you aren't that great. And for a moment, um, hope was lost. There I was, I had been married for five years. I had just a three-year-old girl and a two-year-old little boy. And I needed, I needed more time. After that settled in for a little while, the cancer doctor looked at my wife and I and said, there is something, however, that we would like to try. It's called a bone marrow transplant. And so chemo round one started, and it was hell. I got a call from the National Bone Marrow Donor Program after chemo round three. Seven million people currently registered on the database. And there was one perfect match for me. Just one. It was a 19-year-old female. They said, Mr. Monroe, your bone marrow transplant is scheduled for April 23rd. I sit here today talking to you 100% completely cancer-free as a result of that perfect blood that was brought into my house on April 23rd. I find that my circumstances are very hard to ignore. There's a spiritual cancer that's eating us away on the inside, and we're all longing, we're all begging for someone to step in to save us from that condition. John 17, 3, it says this, it says, This is eternal life. Knowing you, God, and Jesus Christ in your sin. I am Jim Monroe, and I have been ransomed.